just ahead. Nelmark advanced with a victory over Marcus Bossett in the alternate foul, which transpired earlier tonight. Jeff, let's go back for a moment and first look at Nelmark's takedown of the grasshopper Marcus Bossett. Nelmark feels as though he can control the situation even on the ground. Went right in with the double leg, dropped Bossett, assumed the guard, and there he started those repeated headbutts. Certainly that had to have an effect on Bossett to go ahead and let go of the arms. And once, away, once he went ahead and did that, Nelmark applied that choke. And he himself in the semifinals, Bruce. And here's a look at the upcoming tale of the tape. Nelmark against Tank Abbott. It's karate against street fighting. Both are 31. Nelmark's a big guy. He's 250. He's very rugged. He's proven himself worthy in the octagon thus far. Height the same, one from Michigan, one from California. And remember, it's a well-rested Nelmark who won in just a minute 37 over Marcus Bossett. And the way that the Ultimate Fighting Championship works, if a fighter cannot continue, an alternate takes his place in the spot where rare he was last. Therefore, Nelmark begins now in the semifinals. He did prove himself, however, in battle the way Steve Jenham did. Jenham won UFC 3 as an alternate. Well, here comes Steve Nelmark. From Allen Park, Michigan, now Livonia, Michigan. An amateur kickboxing competitor. 7-0 is a pro kickboxer. His home gym, the American Karate Training Center in Livonia, Michigan. He used to train with U.S. kick heavyweight champion Scott Pearl. Started fighting at age 19. A fascination for the martial arts game. He grew up in the era of Kung Fu and Bruce Lee. So Nelmark comes in with a record of 2-0. He beat Ty Bowden in UFC 9, which was the Bowden card. He was an alternate there, and he won earlier tonight over Marcus Bossett. He's got skill. He's got tools. It's just he hasn't met the top flight competition yet. Tank is one of those. So once again, a look at the bracket and the way it unfolds right now. Steve Nelmark goes in there against Big Tank Abbott coming in as an alternate. Don Fry meets Chemo if Chemo is able to come back. Jeff, it goes back to the point we talked about earlier. It's attrition. Certainly is. And Shamrock found out again that when you punch people's heads, particularly in the side, you can break your hand. And Nelmark finds himself in the opportunity of a lifetime. Here comes Tank Abbott. A man with a serious appetite for destruction. In much better shape than he was in the last UFC. In great position here to advance to the finals. 273 pounds, lighter, more poised. Didn't like his performance against Scott Ferrozo. He also claims he had a bad knee. And we all thought that something had to be wrong with Tank where he just really didn't try anything. He just hung on to a fence. But he endured the full fight despite losing. It's a good point because remember his losses are to Taktarov, 17-47 a choke. Unanimous decision lost to Severin. Unanimous decision lost to Ferrozo. Here's Manny Garcia. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first semifinal fight. Making his second appearance at six feet, 250 pounds, fighting out of Livonia, Michigan, the Sandman, Steve Nilmar. His opponent standing six feet tall, weighing 273 pounds, Tank Abbott. So we're set to go, Tank Abbott against Steve Nelmar. Semifinal number one of the ultimate, ultimate 96. Nelmark is an alternate replacing Ken Shamrock, who broke his right hand. Here we go, are you hand. ready? Are you ready? Let's get it on! Here we go. Tank it straight ahead. Nelmark landed, but Tank sent him into the octagon wall. I don't know if Nelmark wants to wrestle with Tank Abbott. Abbott. Whoa! Keep working it, keep working it. Tank has 
shown us some strength tonight, picking up both opponents. He's also got his head trapped in there. And this is where Taktarov choked him out, was with that guillotine. Tank ferocious landing blows. Nelmar can't see to throw a punch. Tank all over him. Oh, he's in trouble. Nelmar he's in, is in trouble. trouble. It's all Tank right now. Nelmar doesn't defend himself soon. McCarthy may step in. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. A knockout. Oh, my. I'm off the fence. Oh, a punishing shot by Abbott. A devastating right hand. Hopefully, Nelmark is okay. Wow. The winner of the first semifinal. Tank Abbott. Our concern right now is for Steve Nelmark. Abbott landed a bomb with the right hand. Nelmark is getting excellent medical attention. Dr. Richard Istrigo, Dr. Stephen Goodman, Dr. Joel Koopman are all there with Nelmark. He took a big shot from Abbott. Abbott controlled the fight from the start. Nelmark looked like he wanted to dance and keep his distance and then rushed Abbott. Abbott has a strong grappling background, repelled it. Went ahead, took his own shot, slammed Nelmark, and then started a fury of punches that ended with a devastating right hand. Nelmark is on his knees. Leon Tabs, the fabled cut man, who has been in the game for over 30 years, is attending to him now. Nelmark is okay. He's on his knees, hunched in the corner, and getting attention. Yeah, he's responding to the doctors. I mean, it was a classic knockout. His knees just dropped out from under him, and because he was against the fence, he... He arced back in really kind of a deformed position, but he's okay on his feet. But Abbott, quick fight. He's going to be fresh for the finals. Tank, a minute five, a destruction with the right hand, the knockout of Steve Melmar. Jeff? Well, without a doubt, Tank is in an envious position here. Both his fights were short. You can look at how once he got into Nelmark's leg, Nelmark is trying to get a choke, but oh, what a slam. Directly on the shoulders, could have knocked the wind out of him, but Nelmark held tough. And then he took a series of punches on his way to the corner, this fence shot, and there, that right hand, you saw the knees drop right out from under the one. Watch again here, such a potent right hand, the tank throws, and bang, out go the knees, into the fence he goes, and he's out right there. Abbott, your victor. And Abbott, again, great position in this tournament. He hasn't spent a lot of energy. He should be ready to go in the finals. We should see a tank with a full fuel tank.